Mm, it smells so good. Hello guys, welcome back to another video from Homesteading of the Grid. Today, I'm gonna share with you how I cook my pork ribs caldereta. It's so simple and delicious. So, let's get into my kitchen. <laughs> <laughs> Don't worry, I'm cooking pork. <laughs> okay, guys, this is all our ingredients to our pork ribs caldereta. So, so here's my pork ribs, one rock pork ribs. Look at that. I'm gonna slice that later. And I have one cup green peas, one cup pineapple juice, one cup water. 5 tablespoon ketchup, 3 tablespoon soy sauce, half a teaspoon salt and half a teaspoon black ground pepper, and 2 tablespoon vegetables oil, and 2 potatoes, 2 carrots, 1 chicken bouillon, and 10 bay leaves, and half a large bell pepper, that's half, and I have half a pound chicken liver spread, yeah, I bought this in Kroger. Liver spread. And I have one bowl garlic and one small white onion. That's all we need to make our pork ribs caldereta. So let's start. Okay, guys, everything is sliced. Look at that. My carrots, my potatoes, and the pork ribs it's a slice already and guys by the way i forgot to mention earlier we need to use two tablespoon butter okay guys our pan is hot so let's put our oil okay guys it's hot so let's put our garlic and onion and next let's put our bay leaves Okay, they're brown, so let's put our pork ribs. Mix. Let's cover this for five minutes. Okay guys, it's been 5 minutes, so let's mix. So now let's put our 2 tablespoon butter, black pepper and salt. and mix it up and then let's put our pineapple juice in one cup water and let's mix And let's wait, let's wait until the pork ribs is cooked and tender. Cover. Okay, guys, let's check our pork ribs. Mm, it's not yet tender, but it's close. So now let's put our liver spread one chicken boil on soy sauce ketchup and let's mix
Okay, let's cook more the pork ribs until it's all the way tender. Okay, guys, let's check again our pork ribs if it's cooked. Yep, our pork rib is cooked. So now let's put our vegetables. And then let's simmer this. And then let's cook it for at least 15 minutes. I want my vegetables so tender. Cover. Oh, we're not gonna cover it up. Just cook like that for 15 minutes. Okay, guys, let's check our pork ribs caldereta. Mm, my vegetables. Let's see. Oh, it's almost done. It's been 15 minutes, so let's put our bell pepper and green peas. Let's cook them for 3 minutes and it's done. Ready to serve. guys everything is cooked our vegetables cook our pork ribs is cooked guys before I'll make it sure guys that you remember that before you put all your vegetables make sure your pork ribs is cooked and tender so it's done turn up the fire test test time Mmm, test taste time, huh? Yep, me Say first. Say test taste then. time. Taste this time. You first? Yeah. Try not to get it on your clothes. We're eating it both Southern and Filipino style today with our fingers. Yep. Mmm. Mmm. What you think? Well, oh, so good. So good, you just want to, can't even talk because you just want to eat it, huh? Hi. Look at these guys. They want some too. Get, get, get on. Ah, uh, yeah. Remember that movie, Christmas Story? Yeah! <laughs> Worked with dogs, not so much with chickens. Your turn. <laughs> Do you like it? Yeah! <laughs> yeah, that's mm. delicious, no? Mm, it's so good. And I hope easy. Glad. Tell them what you hope. You hope they try your recipe. <laughs> yeah, I hope you cook this. It's delicious. Mm. I don't know if chickens can smell or not, but let's say they can. This chicken saying that sure does smell good. All right. Thanks for being with us here for another video from Homesteading Off the Grid. We're going to make short work of these ribs. <laughs> See you guys next time. Bye bye. <laughs>